Police say they've been investigating this case for months since those first reports came in here to Yaden police. They say that the thieves picked up mail, stole it right from mailboxes, the ones you see on the streets. And they say they advertised on social media looking for unsuspecting people to help them pull off their alleged crimes. Why would I spell my name wrong on my own checks? Because she didn't write that check. Police say thieves did. And while she doesn't want her face shown, she does want you to know she's out tens of thousands of dollars after putting her mortgage check in the mail. My mortgage company got in touch with me and said that my mortgage was late and that I owed a fee, that I went on an online account and I saw two checks that I had mailed together, already cashed and rewritten with these large sums of money. And it definitely was not my handwriting. Police say they'd been on the hunt for check thieves since February, and they had not just hidden Yaden, but all over the region. Multiple counties and multiple mailboxes. And this video became a major key in the case. Police say the thieves had a key to mailboxes in the region, so they helped themselves. This scheme is very elaborate. Police say the suspect scrubbed the checks with chemicals, write new names and new amounts, and then hit social media. They were advertising on Instagram for individuals looking to make money, easy money. So those people turned over their ATM cards so the checks could be cashed. And turns out police say they never got that payout. And after weeks of searching, yesterday the car police were hunting for came right through town. They stopped it with several men inside. Three are in custody and the fourth is wanted now. And this is also what police found. 59 checks out of one of his shoes and uh, 19 debit cards out of the other. And it wasn't just checks inside. Take a look at this gun. Most of the checks were written in the last two days. Victims don't even know the money was stolen. And as for those who gave up debit cards in the hopes of getting a payday. And these 19 people have no idea we're coming yet. So if you recently gave your debit card to somebody with your PIN number, hoping you're going to make a quick 500 bucks or 100 hours, contact us before we knock at your door. And do police think those four guys worked alone? They say probably not. There is evidence that they traveled to other states. That's why they want you to take a look at your bank statements. Again, some of those checks they say they recovered written just in the last couple of days. Those victims, they say, don't even know that those checks never went to where they mailed them off to. So if you have any information, call your local police department. Reporting live in Yaden, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.